Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Hermira Binti Harman. This group consists of six people and we are from group JPE 24058. For this video, we will present to you the prototype of our project named Parcel for You. This is an innovative application designed to address the long queues and time consuming parcel deliveries at UITM Sgamat by providing a better user experience for the community. Here, we have the interface of the parcel for you application showing its name and logo. Now, let's take a look at how the application works. The first step in using the parcel for you application is to download it from either the Apple Store or Google Play Store. Once you have downloaded and installed the apps, you will need to open it and click on stuff or the student button depending on your role. If you already have an account, you can log in by entering your phone number, username, or email along with your password. Once you have filled in the required information, simply click on the login button. In case you forgot your password, we have included a forgot password button to help you reset or recover your account. By clicking on this button, you will be directed to a new interface where you can enter your UITM email or phone number. After entering your information, click on Forget Password to receive a link that will allow you to change your password. For new users who have not created an account yet, we have made it simple. At the bottom of the interface, you will find a sign up button. By clicking on this button, you will be directed to a sign up page where you will need to provide your name, your ITM email, password, and phone number. Once you have filled in all the required information, click on sign up to create your account and proceed to use the parcel for you application. Hi, I am Nurna Bila Binti Abdul Karim. I will continue with the interface of home page for parcel for you application. At home page, it consists of parcel for you logo and the icons that will navigate the users to other pages. First, when users want to find their parcel code, they can fill in their tracking number from the courier services at the icon of magnifying glasses. They can click any three of them. After the tracking number filled in, if the parcel is ready, this page will show up. If the parcel is not ready to pick up yet, this page will show up. Next, this icon is for runner registration. Click here. This page is for the users to register as a runner. This icon is for runner information. Click here. And the user can see the runner information. This icon is for price rate when the user wants to use runner to pick up the parcel. This icon will navigate user to help and feedback page. Click here and the user can get help or contact to, or to give feedback here. And this icon is for live chat. Click here and the users can chat to ask questions. Next, these three lines is hamburger button. Click here to get to the menu page. This menu page help users to navigate to other pages while not in the home page. So, they can skip the hassle to go to the home page just to get to the page that they want. Click here or here and the users can see their account information as student. It consists of students' metric numbers, email, phone number and they can change password here. Click here and insert new password and confirmation password to change to a new password. Same step, click here or here for staff account. It also consists of staff number, email, phone number, and they also can change password. For the staff accounts interface, there is parcel information button. They can click here to fill in and update the parcel information. Users also can get to the home page by click here or here. Then, in this menu page, 
you can click here to get parcel code tracking. Click here to get runner service information. Click here to register as a runner. Click here to see the service rate when using runner. Click here to the page of About Us. Click here to the FAQ page. Click here to Contact Us page. Next, for setting, the user can click here or here and get to the setting page. Then, click this icon to see if there is a notification. The notification page is for the users to get the latest information about operating hours of Post Mini and other information. Hi, my name is Nur Amira binti Yusuf. Next, we will move on to the password information. This password information function which will collect by runner. This interface only can see by the staff member in Post Mini. Next, this is the password information which will collect by the student. This function will collect information status of the parcel. After that, if student and runner want to check their parcel information status, they can click on the parcel code tracking. Then, they can click on enter their code tracking number given on the searching bar. Next, after student has entered the tracking code number, the application will appear like this. As a sample, if student's parcel is ready to pick up, the application will show them the time received and student have to enter the last 4 digit number of their parcel code. The last step is, if student has entered their code number and the item has not appeared and show this which means the parcel is not ready yet to pick up and still in waiting time. Hi, my name is Ashkin and this is how to use registration feature. First up, there are two ways to go to home button. First, users can click this home button here and click on runner registration button and it will lead to registration page where students who want to apply for runner service can do so here. Second, users can also click the three lines button or also called as hamburger button to view the features options and choose runner registration while repeating the same method as before. This is how the runner registration page looks like. Students can fill in their information and upload their image here. The information submitted will be viewed by post admin like this and they can view the uploaded file of image here and click close button after viewing it. As for the runner service information, users can view this feature from the home page and click here or click the hamburger button and choose runner services. It will then appear to this page where all the information of runner services will be provided here. To use runner services, users can click the WhatsApp link on the bio of runner and it will link to the runner's WhatsApp and they can contact each other directly. Other than that, this app also features price rate information by clicking at the home page or hamburger button to view this price rate information. That's all from me. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Noor Hazika Hana and I will explain on about us landing page. In this page, it will briefly explain about the parcel for your application itself. Besides, the frequently asked question page is a key part of knowledge base because it is address the most common question that user has and uh, it is useful throughout the user experience. It is also showing the step by step on how to register as runner as well as when the user will be able to track their parcel code. Now, we are moving on to the help page. This page will provide several elements of contact us and some popular action buttons such as reset password, edit user account and contact information to link up the application with the uh, phone so that if they forget their password, users just need to insert their phone number and then they will receive a SMS to reset the password. For calls, it will display information like the staff phone number and emails for visitors to find ways to contact with post mini staff for any inquiries. 
Next, for the feedback landing page, visitors can also leave feedback through these channels by rating their experience and suggestion on what can be improved throughout the service. Now, focusing on the live chat page, these tools connect the user and staff. This allows users to resolve issues in real time and get the answer quickly. Now, I will continue to the setting button for this application. Setting button in application is a function of content configuration option that affect the function of the application. For the application, after the user click on setting button, there are four functions which are privacy policy, language, request for account deletion, and logout. First, we will go to the privacy policy. Once the user click on this function, there will be a policy. There, there will be a privacy policy for this application. Privacy policy is important for the user because uh, they want to know the purpose of their personal data being collected for this application. Next, we move to the language function button. For this function, the user can choose which language that they want to use. There are two options of language that they can that the user can choose: either Bahasa Melayu or English. Next, we proceed to the request account deletion. The function is to help those users who are not willing to use this application, especially for, for the user that are no longer a student and there is no purpose for them to use this application at all. The user can choose yes or no and click the submit button when request to delete the account. Lastly, the logout function button. The user can use this function if they want to log out from this application, once the user click this, fu this function, the user will directly back to the login page.